Ah, another YouTube upload. Hopefully lots of views. Hum, what the? Less than 300 views and down votes. I give up you guys suck donkey balls. Have it, have it. God save the queen. American shit. No. You shut up with me. You shit. Fine! Oh. You know? Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays. And today I'm going to be uploading a Airsoft video on a completely new site. The first time I've ever been to this site. The site is run by Cerberus. And the actual location or the event, they call it the Sand Pit. Now the Sand Pit is actually in a working quarry, which Unbelievably for me, is right on my doorstep. It is literally less than five minutes away. I never actually knew this site was here. So I decided to go down with Saxon, who's got the airsoft bug as well. And we went down, we thought we'd try it out and I'll give you a little bit of a review of the site. Feelings, thoughts, and how the actual day unfolded. I couldn't think of any words there. So as you can see on screen, we got there a little bit early, and as you can see, there are lots of weapons and kit, as there is with all these airsoft meets. It's always, if you're into weapons, gun pawn, then you're going to be in heaven when you go to an airsoft meet. And, as you can see on screen, quite a lot of people here, but this is not all of them. There probably was about 150 people, as you're about to see in a minute, at the beginning of the day, after the... I must say, very long-winded briefing. It seemed to take forever to actually get started to do anything. But I'll show you on screen, you'll see how they actually work it. So today, the actual kit I'm using, I'm going to be using the Halley Combat Vest. I don't tend to go with the full vest. This is more of a, um, a running around, get out there. You know, all the mags are here, close, tight, and there's lots of mobility enabled to enable you to be able to move easily. I find the vest is very restrictive. Especially when I'm doing DMR because of the bipod and you can't lay down and it's just very restrictive. So I'll be using that today. I'm also using the, I don't I can't remember the name of it, but the, these trousers and the shirt underneath really are top notch. You really do get what you pay for with built in elbow and knee protection. I'm also going to be using a Nick Chief. Um, I've lost all the words today. I'm just going out my head. You everybody think I was drinking last night? I wasn't. And I'm also going to be trying a baseball cap with a GoPro mount on it. Again, first time I've tried this. All these bloody gadgets that I've got. I've got this little wrist gadget that enables you to be able to look at the GoPro. That wouldn't connect for some reason. Just one thing after another. So you can't actually tell what you're looking at with the GoPro, but you get the idea. So after a basic sign-in, you pay your dollar, which I think off the top of my head was either 25 or £30, pounds, which is the usual for these sites, because you do pay a little bit extra for not being a member and a walk on. So you can see on screen, this is the basic, basic area, a little bit of a safety talk, blah, 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 don't go on ills, blah, blah, blah. And this is how it works. At the beginning, they split the entire teams up into two. And everybody's given a number, which is something a little bit interesting. They go along one, two, three, one, two, three, etc., etc. It's time for tactical piss <sighs> tactical piss so what these guys are doing now is everybody's been given a number uh, I'm number two so number one are just going to go into the area zone down at the bottom there and have a one-on-one -on -one fight or a team based fight for one building and they're doing this as a warm-up for each team before the actual game starts which is something I've not seen before, a little bit warm-up session for people, quite interesting. As you can see, they're throwing smoke and shit down there. So, once this game's over, team two, that's me, I'll be going in. And I shall record that and let you know how we get on. Otherwise, what an interesting, fantastic sight. Let's crack on. That's a good piss. Over. So on screen what you're looking at is actually part of those teams, one, two and three, whichever number you were. They had to rush up to this building which is over on the right here and basically have just a tiny little bit of a death match within that small area and this is, is kind of a warm up. The day was cold, raining, a little bit of sun, couldn't make its mind up. 
And when you actually get wet running around in this, you do get very damp and very cold very easily. So that little warm-up thing is probably quite a, quite a cool thing. Everybody's just stood around cold and all of a sudden you're blasting and running around. I'm sure that's not good for anybody. So the terrain, as you can see, super high walls around this quarry. I've actually been down here on uh, cross bikes and all sorts when I was uh, a little bit younger. Very, very... The, the terrain is very sort of... Very sharp, massive blocks of slate and things like that. And I really do wish that I'd brought my proper boots. I forgot to bring my boots. I had me carry more hiking uh, trainers on. No ankle support whatsoever. And this really is not the environment for that because... On screen now, I mean, this is very, very light shale compared to some of the rocks and some of the slabs later on are freaking massive. And anybody climbing up there, especially when they're above you on these ledges, they can drop the rocks down. You've got to be very, very careful on this site. I think, apart from the environment being fantastically different, brilliant for Milsim, you've got to be very, very careful on looking after yourself and others here. Because the potential for injury on this site is 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 quite large indeed, really. Make sure you got your safeties off. Only the lead man goes full auto, every other man is on single fire. Why is that, Stephen? Oh, it's in case of an ND. Okay. Misfire, negligent discharge. Yeah, means you only put one round in the guy in front rather than full auto. So really, the star of this site is the environment itself. If you keep your head screwed on, as you can see on screen now, some of these massive blocks, especially when there's people below you. I did see on some of the sharper embankments, they were rumbling around at the top and they were dropping down to the bottom. So just be careful when you're up here. As you can see, I've climbed all the way up this hill. As I get to the top, the enemy are so far away on the other side. Airsoft can be so frustrating sometimes. Sometimes you just look at it and you think, Mickey Mouse. Because you, they can be 200 metres away and you can go, doo, 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 and they can't even reach you. Not even with a sniper rifle. They cannot reach you. The engagement ranges are just terrible. But I decided to run up this peak here. And bloody have some. Para by name, para by nature. I've got an assault rifle. Let me get up there. Everybody else yeah, just yeah, sat yeah. behind me. I thought, fuck it, I'm going to go for it. And unfortunately for me, I got bloody headshotted. not. You're just giving me away. I know. Hey! Good shot, headshot. <laughs> we are hat camp. So it's lunchtime, halfway through the day, and the site is fantastic, but what I've got to say is my shoes, as I'm about to show you now. These are my Caramore hiking trainers going out onto the single track. No good. No good for this whatsoever. My feet are absolutely killing me right now. You go over on any of these little rocks here, over on your ankle, even like stepping on hungry, uneven ground here. Like this sort of stuff here. And it just absolutely goes straight through the shoe, straight into your foot, and it bloody hurts. So not the most ideal. 
seems a little bit disorganised, if I'm honest. Especially with lunch. They've got like one little one little person cooking for like 300 players. So you do have to wait quite a long time to get some snap. But hey ho, it is what it is. I'm actually feeling a little bit cold now. It takes that long to, you know, for so many people to get fed and get a cup of tea and all that sort of stuff. But you tend to get a little bit cold. I'm absolutely freezing now. The damp and wet actually starts to get through your clothing and makes you feel cold. So I'm actually quite keen to either get out or even, I don't know, I'm just not feeling the vibe so much today as much as I used to do. So I actually feel like I could go on right now. I don't know. Probably the feet that are hurting. But overall, overall, put the app back on. Overall, it's definitely a nice change compared to um, Patrol Base and Proving Grounds and Respawn, should I say. Uh, some of the other grounds. Definitely a completely different environment. And it's probably going to be an absolutely fantastic site for Milsim or if it was team based. At the minute, there doesn't seem to be as much team play as there is on other sites that I've played at. It seems more like a very individual thing at the minute, which is it's a team play that I'm actually craving for. But generally, as a new site, fantastic. 